I, I mean, there was definitely a little extra pressure fighting in my hometown. Um, you know, I've got, uh, this is the first time probably since I've been in the UFC that most of my, my fans and my, you know, a lot of the family, good friends, were able if, uh, to see me fight live. So I've been, you know, halfway across the world most of the time, uh, and on the other side of the United States. So knowing that, you know, after four or five years, it's the first time they got to, to come and, and see what I do live. Uh, it was a little extra pressure, but, you know, I, I fed off of it. The, the crowd out there was intense. It was so loud for being this early in the day. Uh, it just got me hyped up and, uh, and fed off of it. And, you know, I was very happy with the, the way everything went. How do you feel about your performance out there? I was really happy with the performance. Um, I felt like I waited a little bit on, uh, on some, of the, some of the things. Um, but uh, for the most part, I was kind of surprised that, that he stood with me as long as he did. You know, I, I thought he was going to wrestle pretty quick. Uh, him sitting in the pocket and throwing a couple of jabs out caught me off guard, especially after I knew once I hit him once, he, he would probably change his mind. And uh, he didn't, but uh, uh, props to him. He would try to stand with me for a little bit. And then when he took the shot, I was ready for it and uh, you know, do what I do best and uh, put guys away. How quickly did you know that you had that choke? Uh, immediately. Once I had my arm all the way sunk around, uh, I knew there was no getting out of it. I, I didn't know if, uh, if the time might run out. I didn't know how much time was left. But... Uh, I knew it was getting down towards the end of it. So uh, since I stepped over, I, I knew it was over. He was out, I think, quite a while before they actually stopped it. So um, I knew I had it immediately, but uh, I was just happy to, to get it before the, the bell rang. Did you feel him go limp? Yeah, yeah, I saw his arm go. Uh, his arm just went limp, and I saw it physically, and then, uh, then I could feel him a little bit. But uh, I knew it was out, but, I mean, I don't stop till the rest stops me, so I'm, I'm not going to mess up. Did you feel any taps? Do what? I, I thought, I think... I, uh, I didn't. I didn't feel a tap. I don't know. I, I, yeah, I wasn't sure. I just saw his uh, his arm over here just just went limp, and I just kept squeezing until I got stopped. But I didn't feel a tap. No. I don't know. That choke kind of fighter. Is it? Yeah. Is it? Well, you know the guy is out. Like he's out. Like, like how long are you gonna hold that? Man, I, you know. I, I'm not, no yeah, yeah. Like, uh, absolutely. It was, so. It was scary watching on TV. Yeah, I know. Uh, it, it's a it's a rough thing because I've had fights where they've tapped, I've let go, and the ref didn't stop it. So it, it's happened to me, you know, personally. So. Uh, it's one of those where I knew he was out, but, you know, I mean, some guys play those little games where they'll, they'll act, you know, they'll start breathing weird or they'll do stuff, and then you'll let, loosen it up and they'll wake up real fast. So, uh, it, I hate to do it, but really, I don't stop until the ref stops me. It, it just has to be that part or else, you know, I, I let go early, he starts moving, you know, the fight goes to the second round, you never know what's going to happen, you know. So, I hate it, it scares me, but, yeah, I mean, I don't stop. It's just, you can't do it. On a, a more positive, I guess, yeah. a positive note, uh, how did it feel having, like, it, it felt like a main event out there when you came out. Like, how, how did it feel to you just as a, as a fighter, as someone you know? Just Man, the uh, the closest thing I ever had to that was when I was the co-main event in Dublin, Ireland. You know, Connor was the headline the card. The the crowd was insane. It was so loud out there. That was one of the coolest experiences I ever had. But uh, this was the closest to it. But this was for me. You know, it wasn't for Gunner. It wasn't for. Uh... That's awesome. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, my, 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 my teammate just, yeah, my bad. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, me and Anthony Smith started training together, so, uh, yeah. He was down two rounds, I think. Yeah, he was down two rounds and his big head kick. That's awesome. Uh, sorry, guys. Uh, yeah, so, I mean, having, having that crowd, I kept joking around. I was like, man, how am I the second fight of the night? You know, I was like, well, I might be second fight, but, you know, I'm the main attraction here. That's for sure. I'm, uh, I'm the hometown favorite. Uh, I've got people traveling from all the Midwest just to see me. I was really surprised I was only second. But, uh, you know, my job isn't to, to put the fight card together. My job is to get in there and perform. And, and I took care of work today. So uh, that's, that's all I could do. Yeah. That kid kind of came out of a scramble a little bit. Was that something you improvised or was that what you worked on? Uh, I mean, you know, uh, so my, my whole gym, you know, the, uh, the Glory Gym, you know, me, James Krauss, Tim Elliott, we're headhunters. So uh, I've got a good wrestling background. But sometimes you realize that maybe you can't stop the shot. And we have to start draping, you know. We drape for the legs, which I did, and he uh, he readjusted really well. So then I draped for the head. So I, I draped over it. I was grabbing uh, grabbing it, you know his top leg, trying to stop the takedown. He readjusted. Uh, I had to make an, another another adjustment, and uh, so you know I had to go around the head instead. And I draped over, and, and the choke was there. So it's it's definitely a move in uh, in situations that we work all the time at, at Glory MMA. So it's uh it it was planned and it happened, and I don't know, just kind of go from there. Oh, I feel I feel very very good about Tim Elliott's fight. Um, Luis Smoke is a tough guy, dangerous, but uh, man, Tim is it's just a little freaking nature, man. You don't know what you're gonna get. He doesn't know what he's gonna do in there. You know, he's one of the most exciting fighters in the world to watch. Uh, he's got an amazing style, just uh, just crazy, awkward, 
So uh, I'm excited for him because I know he just enjoys going in there and, uh, and putting on a show. So, you know, I mean, we, we, we want to win, we fight to win, but we also fight to entertain. And that's, that's the, uh, the game plan for sure. You got on the mic there at the end and it made it seem like you weren't getting the respect that, you're, that you are, that are deserved. Why so and why do you feel you know, I don't, I've just, I felt like, I mean, this is my eighth fight in the UFC. You know, half people don't know who I am. I mean, this is my hometown and this is the most, uh, you know, recognition I've got. I mean, just it, it's a uh, it's a little different. Kansas City is not a like it's a, it's a they they enjoy it, but it's not like Vegas. It's not like these big fight towns because they never come here. So uh, it's hard to grow a name. And you know, whenever I get taken somewhere else, I'm either overseas or somewhere where a lot of people just don't know who I am. And uh, I feel like you know, people always say like, oh, you know, he's this country boy that can take a hard shot and he's pretty strong. You know, he's big for like. It's always, you know, he's tough, he can grind, but it's not like, oh, hey, he's a talented fighter, you know, he's very well-rounded. I mean, I'm a black belt in jiu-jitsu, I got good striking, I, you know, uh, I'm a collegiate wrestler, like, I, I've got all the tools, I really do. And I feel like, you know, I'm not your typical model-looking six-pack fighter that I don't get the respect I deserve, I really don't. So, um, the only losses I've had are really close losses. I had a weird injury in the, the Gunnar Nelson fight that, Honestly, kind of caused that loss. I thought I was winning until uh, until the, the eye injury, and then uh, you know the the Ponzinibbio fight was insanely close. It was razor sharp, and I think if I didn't show as much uh, swelling on my face, then it could have went the other way. I think I just looked worse than it really was. There was a lot of uh, just little superficial jabs that, that landed, and I landed the harder shots, and he was cut, and I was swelled up, so uh, it could have went either way. So uh, I just feel like I, I get overlooked a lot. Is really all it is. I mean, um, I just kind of really want to just get some more respect that's all there you know I'm always uh low on the fight card first second fight of the night or I might be one of the first ones on the prelims like I just you know I've been here I love this the the company I mean I'll do anything for them like st start building me you know I deserve it did you feel slighted that they put you being the local guy absolutely absolutely it, yeah, I'm not going to say that I didn't take it personally but it hurt my feelings a little bit you know I'm like oh they're coming here and I get it, man, they, they made this card stacked. There's some really good fights on there. I'm like, oh, they added this fight, they had this fight. And I'm like, oh, hell, that means I'm going to be away, though, you know. I didn't expect second fight. But, you know, like I said before, you know, it's not, a, it's not my job to put the fight card together. That's, you know, people way above my pay grade do that. But uh, my job is to go out and put on performance. And if I keep doing stuff like this, and, and that's going to change. And it's, uh, you know, so I just keep doing what I do. And, and eventually it will change. It has to. If it was your job, who would you fight next? I don't care. Anybody top 15. Anybody top 15. Or I don't even care that. Someone who's right there about to break top 15. I just want someone ranked above me. I just want to keep moving up the rankings. And, uh, you know, I don't want to go backwards. That's all there is to it. So if there's someone who's not in the top 15, but, you know, they're doing pretty well and they're right there on the cusp, you know, let me fight that guy. You know, or if they're already in top 15, top 10, I, I'll step up and, and fight for a title if I have to. I, I really don't care. I'm not afraid of anybody in this division. I can hang with anybody. Uh, it's a sport anybody can win on any given night, but I know I can hang with anybody in this sport. I promise you that. Thank you, guys.